Okay, you survived the convention. How long have you been here in Daytona? Ooh, I got in Tuesday at like two in the morning. Oh <laughs> so my yeah, gosh. it's been a long and week. And you brought your baby. Yeah, yeah, I brought the family this year, so spent a little time with them. You know? So you're not totally <laughs> away from your family, right? No, no, no. You, you gotta find your time. Find your time when you can with them. Did you, what, do, what do you think is the biggest thing you took out of, uh, you know, NWCA convention, coming here and meeting other coaches? So Moyer asked me to be a mentor this year, which was really cool. It, it was a great opportunity to, to have some one-on-one -on -one time with some other coaches. So I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it because that was kind of new for me in terms of flipping the, 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 uh, the roles because I did the academy a handful of years ago. But, um, you know, it's always fun to hear some of the fundraising pieces of the convention with, with speakers. Um, I, I, there's so many good things. It's, it's hard to narrow it down, to be honest. But um, I, I've had an opportunity to get in some leadership roles too with with our division since I've, I'm president of D2. So that's been fun. It's a great, great learning experience. That's for sure. You know, I talk to all these guys throughout the country, D2 coaches, and it's the fastest growing division. You know, it, it's they're constantly adding teams in D2. Teams yeah. are transitioning from NAIA. You know what I mean? It's really growing fast, and it's it's soon to outpace D1. D1 keeps cutting. They all add one occasionally, but they keep, you know, for the most part, cutting. Yeah. You know, even if you look at, like, you know, they, they add, uh, you know, the team in Arkansas, Little Rock, and then they cut Eastern Michigan, so they stay the same there. You know what I mean? Yeah. They cut Boise, add Fresno. You guys are the opposite. You're not cutting. You are adding at a We're break adding. pace. Yeah, we are. I mean, there was an athletic director here this weekend at the convention. Yeah, he, he came to the, the Leadership Academy, and he... He basically asked anybody if they felt lucky and said he's looking to hire a coach. So for those coaches out there that did not attend this this, this event, they, they missed out on actually even an interview process for a new program that's, that's this AD announced that they're going to be starting up in another year. So exciting, excited to see a lot of growth and uh, a lot of a lot of good good future for D2 wrestling at least. Everybody wants to move to Colorado. There's no question. Yeah. No, seriously, like it's a destination it's, state. It is. You know, there's everything to do. Obviously, there, the Rocky Mountains are there. There's so much going on. Obviously, the Olympic Training Center is in Colorado Springs. You guys got it all there. Um, is it a hard sell for you for Colorado School of Mines and recruiting a kid? So the, the challenge is for us is just finding the right kid in terms of has the academics. So, you know, just, just getting kids to understand that wrestling's only going to take you so far. And, and our kids get amazing jobs, you know, six-figure salaries. We're looking for engineers. We're looking for kids that have done exceptionally well academically, not just wrestling-wise. So I think it's, it's finding the niche kid, you know, finding that kid that still wants to grow, not, not necessarily a kid that's been wrestling his whole life, but it's, it's the same kind of kid that we're looking for in terms of looking for, like, a, an Ivy League-type kid, an Academy Heads kid. So I think we have a, a pretty similar recruiting model as, as those type of schools. But it's hard. It's hard to find that kid that fits that, that, that niche of very, very smart, um, but once you find them, we've, our school is unbelievable. Our job placement rate is one of the best in the country. Our starting salary is one of the best in the country. So once you pitch that sale and get them on our campus, our campus is beautiful. We're just we're in the middle of a $300,000 locker room renovation right now. So we're going to have by far the nicest locker room and facility, in my opinion, in the, in the country in Division Two. And our staff is unbelievable as well. I mean, we get kids on campus and you see our staff. We've, we've got basically three – we have three – all Division One former athletes on a, on a D2 staff, which you could look through all the other D2 staffs and you're probably not gonna find that. You are located in Golden, Colorado, and you know what I love about that. The Coors Brewery is, you know, right, <laughs> yeah. right there. So you know I gotta love that. But you know, where you guys are uh, located, you know, in regards to Denver, Rocky yeah. Mountain National Park, Red Rocks, you know, you guys are in a really good spot, man. 45 minutes from the airport. Close, yeah. How awesome is it being out there? You're from Kansas, <laughs> yeah, right. Which it's a is like different. Eastern Colorado. People don't know is just like an extension of Kansas, right? Yeah, it's just it's Prairie Land, yeah, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> there's there's not much uh, to do where I'm from, that's for sure. But you know, it's it's a no-brainer to to live in Colorado. I don't don't want to get that out there. To no, keep people. a secret, it's, right? I don't want to get that to the wrong people. But yeah, it's it's not a secret anymore. People love Colorado. It, it's unbelievable, and our location is. It's it's ridiculous. Rock climbing, rafting. I mean, mountain biking. It's, there's trails everywhere. It's 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 an outdoors person's dream location, really. I think. Do you ski much? I do it well. It's I, I did. You know, when I was assistant, you could you could get a, yeah. get a few more runs in than, than when you're a head coach. But I definitely make it up every year. Get a, get a few runs in at least. Yeah. All right, we got this bird to catch. We're on the same flight together. Let's go catch this bird. You got anything else for me? That's it, that's it. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank hey, you very much. Good luck to you guys moving forward, and good luck with the new addition of the family. Thank you, appreciate it.